everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am here today with my layout share and killer kit for how to kill a kit with style for the month of, what are we in? August. <laughs> um, and to show you what I'm planning on using for September. Now, a uh, couple of things I want to preface this video with saying <laughs> is that I usually create for my YouTube channel a month ahead. So I'm going to show you, I made like 20 layouts this month. Um, but they're all coming up in videos in September for Scrap Timber series. And then I've also pre-filmed some videos for October as well. So you won't see any of these videos on my channel this month. Um, they'll all be coming up next month and the month after. Um, and some don't have videos at all. Uh, so I just, I guess I want to say that up front. You're not going to see a lot of uh, process videos for these layouts until September. So it is Scrap Timber. So we have... A video going up on our channel every day in the month of September um, so that's exciting so Jess and I alternate so there'll be 15 videos from me and 15 videos from Jess not including my how to kill a kit with style video um, that's just a bonus so uh, if you remember from my uh, video at the start of the month I said that I was rolling over um, my July kits so I wanted to use um, Maggie Holmes sunny days now I know it looks like there's a lot left of this um, but I've used most of it, not all of it, but most of it. I've still got some tags left. I've got an idea for a tag layout that I want to do. Some fussy cut florals, and most of these ephemera are actually from the clear sticker sheet um, that I fussy cut out. And then these were my puffy stickers from Heidi Swap. I've only got one sheet of the clear stickers left. Everything else has either been used or fussy cut. Um, so I've just got those left, which I think is a fair effort. Those sticker sheets, whew, there was 202 stickers. That's a lot of stickers. <laughs> um, I've only got a couple of the puffy stickers left. And then a few of the uh, 6 by 12 sticker sheets. A few of the chipboard. And then the papers. Again, I know it looks like I have a lot. But I have a fair amount. That's just... So what have I got? I've got one, um, one, two, three, four, five, six full 12 by 12 sheets and then a few scraps here, oh no, seven full 12 by 12 sheets and a few scraps and do I have any full Six by eight, yeah, I do. So one, two, three, full six by eight sheets left. Now, I'm I'm sort of over this collection. I'm a bit done with it, so I don't know if I'll make any more layouts. Uh, but that's what I've got left of the sunny days. And then for legendary, I did a really good job, if I don't say so myself. Um, so some scraps of paper. I had two packs of ephemera. I do have a little bit of ephemera left. Uh, so that's, oh, I used all of the die cut titles. I used all of the clear stickers. I used all but a couple, mostly these say brothers, little brother, big brother, brothers. Um, so I used most of one sticker sheet. I've still got all of the tiny words on this one and a few of those stickers left. Only a couple of enamel dots. A lot of paper scraps. There's not much, I think there's, no, there's no full size six by eight sheets left. And then in terms of full size 12 by 12s, I've got one, this one, cut apart sheet. It's all I've got left in full size. So I can probably get at least one more layout made with this collection. So I'm not going to toss it. I'm gonna keep it in my stash. In fact, I'm probably gonna see if I can use it um, in September, so we'll see. I'll, I really want that completely gone, but I'm very happy with that. Um, now, the other thing that I did that was not included as one of my killer kits, but I wanted to show you anyway, is I have almost completely killed the Coco Vanilla Studios Daydream collection. Now, this was like a bonus. <laughs> um, I had not chosen this collection as my uh, killer kit for the month, but it was completely full. Um, I threw in these field notes um, die cuts because they do match and I did use some of them. Um, and this is all I have left. And this was 
basically untouched. I maybe made one layout. Um, and so I had two packs of ephemera. Whoops, I'm losing the little hearts from the top. Put those back in. So I had, hang on, let me just sort myself out here. So I had the full 12 by 12 collection kit. I had the full six by eight papers. In fact, I had extra 12 by 12 paper. Um, I had two, two ephemera packs, one six by 12 sticker sheet. These were the puffy hearts. Um, I had the titles. Yeah. So I fussy cut all of the rainbows out of two 12 by 12 papers and one of the six by eight papers or two of the six by eight papers actually. And so that's what I've got left of the fussy cut rainbows. I've got a few die cut titles left, used all of the hearts, used one full pack of ephemera and I've only got a couple of bits of ephemera here and a few of the cut apart sheets, a few of the stickers left and then this is all I've got of the paper. So that's one full size six by eight and the rest of this is scraps. Can you, oh no, sorry, another full size six by eight. The rest is scraps. Can you believe it? I smashed through this collection and I was very pleased. So again, I can probably get one more layout. So I am gonna leave this on my desk and hope to have that completely killed uh, this month as well. Um, but I did do a lot of creating with this collection. So I am a little bit um, daydreamed out. <laughs> but anyway, that was the collections that I have now killed. Let me show you the layouts that I made. Let's start with Sunny Days. Now, as I said, most of these are coming up in Scrap Timber. So you'll see the process videos for these. So I'm not gonna tell you much about them, but just to say that I made four layouts with the Sunny Days collection. So I made this one and this one. I'll do this, might be easier. And then I made this one and this one so very pleased with all of those as you can see i mean this is a winter photo so i definitely didn't just use um, them for my summer photos but very happy with those so i made four layouts with that collection and then these are what i made with legendary i need to make six i think so i made this one again there'll be process videos for all of these in september make that one that one that one, I'm really happy with that one. I think that's one of my faves. And this cute rainbow one, and this one. So they are the legendary collections. How many was that? Was that six? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven. So that's seven, and that's four, so that's 11 layouts. And then these are what I made with Daydream. Now there's a lot of these, and again, um, Maybe half of these are coming out in September and then the rest are coming out in October. So I made this one, that's my cover page for 2021. Uh-oh, I did not think through this. Let's hope I haven't ruined this photo with washi tape. I can always reprint if I need to. Right, mental note to self. Don't leave this stuck sitting face down on anything. So I'm just gonna put it over there. That's where I've um, stuck down the back of the twine for the stitching. I'm gonna put that out of the way. So I made that one, this one, and I used those flowers from the Rosie Studio collection. Oh, well, these are mushrooms, but the rest of it is from Daydream. And this one. Now there are no process videos for this one. These are photos of my kids in the bath, so hence why they're covered. There's also no process video for this one. These are actually photos of me straight after I gave birth to Addison on our lounge room floor, so. As much as I'm happy to share the birth story, I thought the photos probably, they're fairly graphic. So they're there. <laughs> and this is after we've made it to hospital with Addison. I made that one. I made that one. And this one. And this one. This one. And the lucky last, I made this one. So. How many did I make from this collection? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, 20 layouts I made all together for the month of, what are we in? August. As I said, most of those are going to come um, out in September, but there'll be about five or six, I think, that coming in October as well. 
Now, for this month, I decided to focus on a couple more of my Rosie Studio collections. I do obviously want to use up a couple of those other little bits and pieces from the collections that I didn't quite finish last month. Um, so I'm wanting to use uh, Indigo Mist by Rosie Studio. This is an older collection, and as you can see, I've used some of it. Um, so I've got Indigo Mist, which is here. This one. Um, so I think that's Indigo Mist as well. Sorry, that's Indigo Mist as well. Um, so I've got the Indigo Mist here. I've got some wood veneer. I've got some vellum florals, some die cuts, six by six paper, and then some chipboard. And then this collection, which was sold at the reject shop called Warm and Cozy, but that's not what it's called at Rosie's Studio, but I don't know what it is. Um, but I threw that in too because it goes. Sorry, thought I heard my child. I did not. They're both currently asleep. And then I also want to use the Briarwood by Rosie Studio. So I have a full ephemera pack and then a part ephemera pack. Some six by six paper and then some 12 by 12 paper as well. I've actually got two of these paper pads. There's another one in my trolley just over there. So I want to make a big chunk in this. I really like this collection. Um, it's old from Rosie Studio. You can't get it anymore. You can't get any of these anymore. Um, so yeah, that's what I want my focus to be for the month of September. Now, I don't know how many videos I'll film with this collection because I filmed so many um, this month and I'm actually kind of all set up until October. I may not film that much, but you'll see my killer kit anyway at the end of the month and see what I created. Uh, but yeah, thanks. I think that's everything. Everyone who's playing along in how to kill a kit with style this month will be linked down below. Uh, don't forget it is scrap timber. You're going to get a lot of videos coming at you this month. Um, so stay tuned for more on that. Um, our first video will be released at 7 p.m. on the 1st of September, Australian Eastern Standard Time. That's very early in the morning over the other side of the world. I know that. Um, but that's what time we release our videos on our channel. So stay tuned. It's going to be one heck of a month coming at you, um, but looking forward to it and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.